I love Nikon, but these three aspects of the D7500 are keeping me from making the purchase. The specs and the internal guts of the D7500 are actually pretty solid. The 7500 is a relatively clear step up from its siblings, the 7000, the D7100, and the 7200, the earlier iterations of the D7000 series. And if budget's an issue for you and you can't quite make the D500 price tag work for you, which is about 50% more than the D7500, then the 7500 could be an option, at least on the paper according to the specs. But when you delve a little deeper into the camera, there are three things that keep it from becoming a D7200 and a D500 contender to a pretender. First reason, it only has one card slot. Personally, I'm a fan of dual SD card slots. That's what the, all the 7000 series cameras have been. The 7000, 7100, and the 7200. As you can see here on my 7100, it's dual SD. Then you can look at the D500. It also has dual card slots. One being SD, the other being XQD. When Nikon was developing the D7500, they wanted it to be smaller and they wanted it to weigh less. So to do that, they took out one of the card slots. In my mind, that's a huge mistake. I hate, hate, hate working with a camera with only one card slot. When a camera has two card slots, you can task each card in the camera with a different task. Normally what I do is I just have the same files being written to each of the cards. You can also have one card writing raw, the other JPEG is an option. There's several other options as well. But what I do is I like to just run Raw, raw files to both cards, that way if something happens and one of the cards goes bad, you still have the other as a backup. If you've been shooting photos for any length of time, you probably had some type of card failure or an error, either on the camera's part or the actual card's part. It has nothing to do with you, those just failed. Or you'll have a situation where it's user error, and that's happened to me before, to where I've deleted files that haven't been backed up, and that's no good. But when you have two card slots, it's a load off your mind knowing that one of them can fail and the other one will be perfectly fine. Now, how often does that happen? It's very, very rare, once every two, three, four, five years. But when that does happen, having the second card can be a lifesaver. The second reason, it has a terrible battery life. The 7000 series camera and many other bodies in Nikon's line use the ENEL15 battery. With the D7500, they've upgraded to the ENEL15A battery. So when the battery's upgraded and the body's upgraded, you'd think that you'd get more shots. No, you don't. The 7500 gets roughly 15% less shots than the 7200 on a full battery. And when compared to a D500, it gets roughly 30% less shots. Having less shots per battery, it sucks, but it's not normally too big of a deal. You can just attach a battery grip, allows two batteries, and it normally fixes the issue. But in this case, it doesn't. Issue number three, it doesn't accept a battery grip. The way Nikon's work is right below the camera where the battery is inserted, there's a little flap that comes out for contacts to insert a battery grip. The body grip on either the Nikon or the off-brand third-party grip will have contacts here that meet straight up with the camera body, like so. That allows for a battery to be inserted into the body itself, and then one to be inserted into the battery grip as well, double the power. Unfortunately, for reasons that I just can't understand, Nikon failed to put the contacts for the battery grip on the bottom of their D7500 body. That doesn't completely take a battery grip out of the question down the road. What could happen is they could have one to where the battery door comes off and it's inserted that way. But as of now, a third party hasn't made such a grip. So if you're in the market for a body with a grip, mark the 7500 off your list. Other than those three things, the D7500 seems to be a great body. Unfortunately, at least for me, two of those three being the dual card slot and the battery grip being able to be attached are absolutely huge. If those things aren't important to you, then maybe the D7500 is an option. But for me, it just doesn't make any sense. What do you think? Will the D7500 work for you? If so, comment below and tell me why I'm wrong. Also, you can comment if you have any questions or you can message me. As always, be sure to subscribe and thanks for watching.